Well, Nabila Ramdani is a journalist and expert in Middle Eastern and North African politics, and she's with me now. What is your reaction, first of all, to what's been going on in Syria? Well, I think that the um, um, 50, we've seen 50 so far unarmed uh, members of uh, an Arab League uh, group sent uh, to Syria to investigate the crimes perpetrated by, by the regime. And I fear this won't be enough, uh, precisely because, um, if anything, demonstrators will try to impress uh, the uh, mission to put forward uh, the, the grievances to the mission. And in turn, this will, um, as we've seen, uh, lead the regime to increase its repression with the use of force uh, and violence. We've seen how yesterday only 35 people have been killed and 300 people are said to have been killed over the past week only, and these are conservative figures. What about the makeup of the uh, mission itself, particularly the man who's leading it? Well, I fear that the mission uh, in itself is particularly weak and ineffective, and there is an awful lot of criticism coming out from uh, human rights organizations and activists are actually saying that the head of the delegation, which is a Su Sudanese uh, general, General Dabi, is, an, is not an appropriate choice to lead this mission, precisely because he was involved himself in war crimes in relation to Darfur in his own country. And Amnesty International said that he uh, was part of an army which is precisely guilty of the same crimes that the Syrian regime is uh, carrying out at the moment. We've seen these online video comments from one of the observers talking about the government's snipers on the rooftops. What do you make of that? Well, we have seen recently particularly horrif horrific uh, images coming out of Syria with uh, alleged use of nail bombs, for example, but also grenades by security forces and indeed riflemen uh, aiming their weapons at children. So this is particularly harrowing, and I think we have to listen to uh, um, uh, this comment from the observer made today is is slightly better than what we've heard so far. Remember a few days ago we heard the head of the mission saying that what he was seeing was quite reassuring. Given that we're hearing like a million people are going out onto the streets in Syria, does this mean that the, the regime is losing some of its power? Uh, definitely, it's losing its PR operation in, in, in any case, and uh, w you can just imagine how uh, the mission, the observer's mission, will be particularly looked after uh, by uh, the Syrian regime, uh, but uh, the impression is that the Syrian regime is absolutely determined to use violence uh, to continue to hang on uh, to power. What about uh, the... the results of this mission when we do get the report. Uh, how potent do you think it will be as a tool for perhaps the United Nations to take action? I think it will be particularly toothless. Uh, we've heard the criticism from activists saying that it, it doesn't have uh, the power to investigate precisely what is going on. Remember, we only have 50 people uh, investigating the crimes. Uh, this is, we're talking about a huge country like Syria. This is pretty inefficient. And uh, one shouldn't underestimate the humanitarian crisis which is going on at the moment with inflated prices of food and, and fuel people, uh, the price of milk and bread, for example, is 10 times the price, uh, the normal price, and people are burning the furniture and, and you know, the, any wood they can find to warm themselves through the winter. Okay. Nabila Ramdani, thank you.